but my, my mum's husband now uh, claimed that he could see ghosts. And he came down the stairs and went, yeah, there's a ghost at the top of the stairs. He just tried to push me down. And, and the woman went, I feel that too. And I was like, for fuck's sake. Yeah, and I enjoy that. like Joe Weller wandering around those yeah. ghost places. And I definitely wouldn't do that. Right. Not because I'm scared of ghosts, because I'm scared of homeless people with knives. <laughs> <Right>? <laughs> I had to ask them if they believed in aliens. They responded as if I'd said, do you believe in dogs? Hey, I don't give a fuck. <laughs> like, if anything, don't use your legal team. Use the ghosts. Yeah, do you yeah, know what yeah. I mean? Like, fucking curse me. Use yeah. them. Do you know? Yeah, don't yeah. curse him. <laughs> <laughs> Can I just say, we asked, we asked Brian what his biggest fear is. He said heights. Yeah, we yeah. asked Lawrence yeah. what his biggest fear is. He said paedophile Weirdly, hunters. right? <laughs> what? what? Yeah, good. I like how you've come Halloween theme today. Dead behind the eyes. <laughs> That's it. Wow. That's yeah. it. Straight to it. How are you? Yeah, not too bad, mate. For the audio listeners. Oh, yeah. There's a lot of Trisha Paytas going on. Lots, oh, you've had that on the podcast before, actually. Yeah, I have. Old news. Yeah. I do like it. Mm. Yeah. It's getting baggier on you. Yeah. 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 Not in the arms, beefcake. <laughs> Losing all that water weight. Oh, dear. Yeah, that's it. But I have to say, uh, we had, well, I don't know when this goes out. Well, I do know when this goes out. A few weeks ago, when we had Ellen and Neil on, mm. uh, I took a picture in my uh, my diesel jumper, which mm. I bought um, a bit. Flex. A bit of the, <laughs> I was just, my bright green jumper. Yeah. Um, and it was a bit big on me. And then I took a picture in it like a, a week or two ago and I actually looked ill. So I just want everyone to know I am fine. You did I've say... I just dropped some weight. Well, you actually said, it looks like you're going through chemo. Y wow. I, I weren't going <laughs> to... Yeah, I wasn't going to say that. But, but no, it's because uh, you had a beanie hat and you had glasses uh, covering up your eyebrows. So you look like you're I, very... I look severely ill, but I want to reassure everyone I'm actually just uh, yep. the healthiest I've ever been. Yeah. Great. I was talking of chemo. Uh, yeah. <laughs> segway. You, go. you ever seen a ghost? Uh, <laughs> <laughs> I, <laughs> I was um, when I was younger. I was I, that sounds insensitive. Oh. It's not. I know loads. Of, I know lots of people who have done chemo. It's a terrible process to go through. Yeah. yeah. No. Um, no. 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 There is a reason I bring it up. Yeah. Um, I used to always wear a beanie hat. Right. Um, I just never had a good trim. I had long ginger hair. Like, I, do you remember when I used to always wear a beanie hat? Just querying whether you've introduced our guest yet. Oh, they know he's here. Yeah. <laughs> it's, it's, it's Lawrence McKenna. It looks like a fucking really in for take that, doesn't it? It's <laughs> I used to always wear this beanie hat, so much so that the first time I slept in a bed with a girl, not with a girl, I slept the whole night wearing the beanie hat, wow, and then nice. the school took the piss out of me the next day. However, um, I had this big white beanie hat, that I think people with dreads wear. Oh, like, was that the baggy right. one? Yeah, the baggy one. And it came here, just about, just below my eyebrows. Yeah. And um, I was crossing um, a zebra crossing in Norwich once, and a man came up to me, and he blessed me, because he thought no. I had... Yeah. Oh. That's horrible. Yeah. That's horrible. Oh. What's terrible is there was actually someone who was going through cancer treatment just behind him. <laughs> yeah. And Jack was completely distracting from him because he was wearing yeah. a stupid hat. Uh, <laughs> as I said, we've got Lawrence McKenna. How are you? Good. Yeah, yeah, really good. How's life? Good. Uh, good, yeah, really um, enjoy. I love this time of year. Do you? Yeah, it's great, isn't it? Do you, are you a fan of Halloween? Hmm, not a fan of Halloween, but I'm a fan of like um, autumn. Yeah. Um, and things sort of, you know, moving on. I think cycle okay. of life. Is that because you're a bit of a, a fashionable guy? I like, can say virgin. <laughs> um, <laughs> uh, no, no, I just like it. It's, it feels good. The air feels nice this time of year. Crisper. Which, yeah, crisper. I think Halloween's like a much more American thing than it, yeah. than it is an English thing. But yeah. they've really taken it off us. Yeah. Like for a while it was our thing. Right. And they've just got, they've taken it to another level. Yeah, but they do with everything, don't they? Fucking Americans. Yeah. Mm. Yeah, yeah. Basketball. Like, yeah, we did netball, mate. Like, <laughs> 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 and then not yeah. only that, but it's like um, with Halloween, they've made it almost un not scary in the way that we made it scary. Mm. They've made it scary just to teenagers and those kind of things. Right. We made it scary for everyone. They're massive on trick or treat, aren't they? Yeah, exactly. Yeah. Uh but like sexy. <laughs> you know? No, I don't know. <laughs> no, yeah. yeah, exactly. Yeah. Anyone, You're 12. <laughs> does anyone know why Halloween came about? All Hallows Eve, isn't it? Oh, is it? Go on. I actually don't know. I'm thick. It's it's something to do with that, isn't it? Like it's like uh, I think every culture in the world's got like a night of spirits or something like that. Oh, it? it's yeah. the day of the dead stuff. It's it's kind of like that. I they think. say yeah, it's yeah, when the, the the layer between our world and theirs is at Opens, its most thin. Yeah. yeah, Jesus. It you, allows people to cross over just for the day. It's like a weird Cinderella. Do yeah. you go? Because you've got a few like, um, nieces, haven't you? Yeah. Up. 
Do you yeah. have to go trick or treating? I, then? I have taken them trick or treating. What's that? Like? Where do you want to go with that? Well, no, <laughs> what did you dress as? What did I dress? I didn't because I, I was. That's weird. I when like the, that. Do you not mm. think it's weird when the parents dress, dress up? up? No, if anything, I think it's like I because I'm sort of you know getting towards the age where you think, oh, should have some kids. Um, <laughs> You start to think, what's the benefit? Mm. Surely dressing up as something like I, that is a massive I didn't benefit. go to the door with them, though. I'd stand back at the gate and then they'd go and That looks not. weird, though, because it looks like you're getting them to do your work. Yeah, yeah. I, did. <laughs> I stole it all off them afterwards. <laughs> Don't forget I, to get the money. <laughs> <laughs> I do love dressing up, though, but yeah, just not. Well, we, we, I, I do dress. The <laughs> BDSM or something. Yeah. <laughs> oh, you can no. dress up if you, at our age, we can go to nightclubs and yeah. dress up. Yeah, so I like, I like that. Like we, we dress up for Halloween, don't we, to go out. Mm. But no, I, I'm now at the age where people knock on my door for Halloween. And I'm like, oh fuck off. Yeah. But, so uh, sorry, what happened before? Did people go? <laughs> he's under a certain age. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, but I thought yeah, that. Yeah. I, as a kid, I wasn't the one opening the door, giving the sweets to the right, kids. Right, my right, mum right. was, but now I obviously don't live with my family. Yeah. I I have to Sad. open the door and be like, there you go. <laughs> they kicked me out. My dad was a teacher. <laughs> they perished. So we would just not do Halloween. We just perished. Um, <laughs> we we used to just not do Halloween because it was like it's going to be some fucking kids from the school yeah. that he teaches at. Hello, so uh, we would just be like, turn the front room, living light room out and just not be in. What do you think of people that put signs on their doors? Like, don't come here. Uh, so can I just quickly interject time. with that? I I went, uh, when I was a kid, I went trick-or-treating. There was a guy that went to the effort, or a household that went to the effort of getting a pumpkin yeah. and carving piss off <laughs> in the pumpkin. Brilliant. <laughs> like, what an you artist. Don't, yeah, you don't, like, you don't like Halloween, but you're willing to carve piss off. I can imagine Brian's done that. <laughs> Brian just sets the pumpkin on fire and just leaves it. <laughs> <laughs> that's it. I remember, yeah, as a kid, I'd see those signs and think, what a prick. Like, I just want to come and get some sweets, have a nice night. But now I completely understand doing it. I wouldn't do it. I but... see it the other way now. Do you? Really? Yeah. Like, he's saving you time. You're not knocking on the door. You're not waiting. You're oh, just I going, guess, yeah. Leave yeah, that house. Right. Move on. Yeah. You know, efficient. it's a bit of a mission, isn't it? But do you not think that'll soon get to a point where everyone's just doing that? Because they'll, they'll notice it works. You've got to go against it. To fight yeah. against the man, baby. Like, knock on that saying. door anyway. Yeah. Baby. Yeah. <laughs> sure. <laughs> what are you going to gain from that? Like, what's the possible <laughs> gain? From... He's obviously not got sweets well, in that house. Exactly. Yeah. Right? So think about it. They haven't got sweets. They've put a sign up, but you've gone against it. You've knocked on the door. They may just go, fuck it. We'll give them us in the fridge. They right. might have a Viscount or something. Yeah. <laughs> like it might be oh, decent. Yeah. 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 Not only that, but so what I what I I love about Halloween is not the actual sort of the scariness of the night, but the fact that someone puts like razor blades in apples and things like that, <laughs> and um, and they yeah. like they give them out to the kids. If I was a parent, I just wouldn't let my kids do it because that's mental. Like, yeah. If my kid bit into it and there's a razor, what the yeah. fuck? Do, what have people been doing that? Yeah, that's yeah, what yeah, happens every year. For me, maybe you know, like when you're a kid and you think uh, quicksand's going to be like a massive thing in your life. Yeah. Um, <laughs> like that's the same with me for Halloween and razor blades, which is why I'd never go trick or treating. Wow. There was a big cocaine one last year, wasn't there? There was a story in the news. <laughs> Giving away. No, there was a story coke. in the news saying they were giving rather than like they were pretending it was sherbet and giving it to kids. But that's how brilliant. fucking that's a lot of money yeah. you had to rub it in. <laughs> yeah. Coming to the door with a plate and a credit card. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Just giving uh, away free drugs. Not only that, to kids that aren't gonna appreciate it. Yeah. <laughs> you sound annoyed at it. Yeah. I'm quite frustrated. <laughs> You wish you knocked on that one. Yeah, I know. <laughs> They're giving away spirits as well. <laughs> oh, man. Are Loads you... of kids with no septums. For <laughs> sake. Are you superstitious? Uh... Anyone? Oh. <laughs> oh, we both thought you were specifically <laughs> you talking to... Yeah, yeah, then you looked at me. I... Does anyone have any superstition? I definitely... Um... I have a couple, but... I... Do you think... Here's a question before we get into that. Do you think that Sorry. religious... Views. I was hoping it would go here. This is a segue. <laughs> I know you and I probably think very similar because we just listened to what Ricky Gervais said. Yeah, and we regurgitate that. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, what's he tweeted? Yeah. <laughs> About animals again. Uh, <laughs> um, do you think that being an atheist, mm -hmm. basically, if, if you're an atheist and then you're superstitious, do you think the two cancel each other out? No. Uh, I was about to say, because we spoke about this about ghosts a couple so of weeks ago, didn't we? Was that with Ellen and Neil? Yeah. We I said, yeah, but we said about religion. If you're, if you don't believe in God, can you really believe in ghosts? Because the whole point of ghosts is someone who can't cross over to the other side. Yeah. And the other side is because of God. With superstitions, not, though, is it not the bullshit. same thing? Go what, on. Religion or? <laughs> but, sorry, but religion doesn't own the concept of death and the afterlife. And that's religion. what I said, exactly. motherfuckers. Yeah. 
Religion yeah, doesn't bitch. own anything. Like someone <laughs> yeah. said to me the other day, where'd you get your morals from if you're not religious? I was like, they didn't just come around. When, before Moses, everyone wasn't just going, <laughs> oh. fuck her and fuck her and fuck her. <laughs> yeah, like, exactly. That's not the way it works. Exactly. People went, well, that would be a bit unbeneficial. Like, it doesn't make <laughs> yeah. any sense. Yeah. So you don't fucking own it, all right? <laughs> Jack, Jack did just say, if no one ever taught him morals, he'd happily kill someone. Right. I didn't say happily. No, yeah. you said in defence. This was on the podcast with Brian, right? Yeah. I didn't just say it. I said it weeks ago and we shot a separate episode on a separate day with Brian, okay? <laughs> I'm in the same t-shirt. <laughs> yeah, you told me to bring a new fucking t-shirt. He didn't tell you me. you the same ones. I forgot. Oh, oh, great. No, but this is what, I, just, just, to, just to paraphrase, um, oh. I said to, because they said, if you didn't have any morals, w- would you just go around raping? I said, no, but I might do a bit of murder. And the reason <laughs> why, bit. but the reason I'm why. I'm in that boat as well, if I'm honest. I was on yeah. the tube um, with Toe Jizzle. Yeah. <laughs> and this massive hench black geezer got on. And, Manny. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, he looked at myself and Toby, and he was he was mental, this guy. Yeah. Like, he wasn't all there. And he basically threatened to slit my throat. He was like, you have stinky attitudes. But we were speaking about um, Toby's upload schedule, and he... Th- <laughs> and, and he went, I hate your upload <laughs> schedule. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> and he, he went, um, you, you have stinky attitudes. I'm going to slice your throat and leave you bleeding on hell's doorstep or heaven's doorstep wow. or something. And I thought in that moment, I'm a goner. Yeah. I, like, Toby was really cool about it. I was like, oh, he's probably, he lives in London. Like He knows his shit goes on. He's got I, life insurance. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I was yeah. petrified. And I, the reason I bring that up is because we were having a similar discussion with Brian. And I said, if there were no morals, mm. I might have got in there before. What? And just. What if he got. If he brought it out. It's what happened in the Wild West. Like, yeah, it, it, yeah, it yeah, happened, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. You know? um, well, it's sort of a weird one because you don't. I don't know what's true and what isn't, is what I'm saying. So I'm sort of open-minded to mm. the way that the world works. We had David Icke on the True mm. Jordy podcast a few weeks ago. Great podcast, go subscribe. Mm. Probably and a month, <laughs> a, a few weeks and a month ago now. Yeah, <laughs> yeah fucking ages ago. I call a few weeks like years. So we had him on and he was saying how, you know, we all only see a very uh, small band of light mm. and like the Queen can see more light than the rest of us. So the Queen can. Mm-hmm. <laughs> wait, wait, what? And so, well, don't you know? And then, and and how you know we can only see a part of the universe, and so we only go on what we can see and what we yeah, can hear yeah, and those yeah. kind of things. Yeah. And obviously, that's all experiential, but that affects the way that we form things in our mind, right? And if we mm. could see more, we'd think differently, which is probably true. Yeah, mm. yeah. Um, and so, I just think, obviously, I don't want to limit myself, but at the same time, do I believe? that if I do that when I go out and play football, is God helping me out? No. Probably no. not. Also, no. what annoys me about that is all these players like, oh, you know, God bloody did that. Mm. What do the players on the other team think when he scored the goal? <laughs> what does, yeah. the goal, does the goalkeeper go, well, fuck, what were you doing for me? Like, yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> do you know what I mean? Then when they equalise. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, and then when they equalise, he's like, knew it. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I've, so, never, I've never thought of it like that. No. But just to, to get a bit deeper... Mm-hmm. There was, um, and it is a horrible topic, but you know, um, is that Jose Enrique? No, yeah. the, the Barcelona, ex-Barcelona yes, manager. Yeah, yeah. His daughter tragically passed away recently. Yeah, very sad, and, um, and and loads of people were, were sending their prayers on Twitter in response. And it is kind of counterintuitive because it's like, if God does everything, he's kind of at fault for that. Yeah. So you're just going to be messaging him with your prayer, yeah. telling him about what he's just yeah. He goes, yes. yeah, I know. <laughs> yeah. But that's yeah, when yeah. I did that. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's when they go, yeah, but he needed another angel up in heaven. Yeah. You've got to think about these things. You but see, that's, <laughs> that's what annoys me. But there's right. more there's no logic so, that so, it lacks logic. More people have now. Well, this is such an obvious fact. <laughs> are you going to say more people have died <laughs> than there are but living that, now? Yeah, but so, a lot of them have gone the other way. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. yeah, true. You. you I assume based on that you don't have superstitions. I don't, but this is why I say I kind of do. I was gonna say, as a gambling man, I guarantee your brain goes, Yeah. I bet on the fifty-sixth minute last game. Actually, no, you always say to me, whenever you bet on a football game in a specific pub, it always comes in. So you like to bet when you go to that pub. Yeah, yeah, but so I do have superstitions, yeah. but th- but that's why I say it contradicts my beliefs because I didn't know if obviously I agree with what you said, but I didn't know if you can have the two. Of course you can. But you see, for me, it's the psychological effect of the superstition. Mm. So even if the superstition doesn't exist, just by talking about it, you're giving it some sort of weight in your life. Mm. So for me, it's not about the magic of it. It's like one, you're, humans are highly suggestible. So as soon as you're told something anyway, you're likely to believe in that way. Right. Even if you don't, even if you try not to. Yeah. And then you watch the Halloween film or whatever it is, and the skeptic always dies. 
So I don't yeah. want to be openly skeptical because in many ways I'm being superstitious. If I'm openly skeptical, I'm almost attracting the murderer. Yeah. In a way. <laughs> yeah, but yeah, it's, yeah. Like, it's like like people say, if you walk under a ladder, yeah. it's bad luck. But the reason that's some bad luck that. is because, yeah, well, you've done yeah. it. Your mind then goes, oh, I'm going to have a bad day. You look for bad things to happen. Yeah, Same as Friday the 13th, Friday the 13th happens. 13th, you go, yeah. oh, that happened. Classic mm. Friday the 13th. Do you, do you walk over three, you know, the, the three, yeah, drains. three drains? Oh, yeah, I do. Yeah, I don't yeah. give a fuck. Yeah, what's the logic behind I that? I know. Because yeah. what annoys me is we're doing all these ancient, like, oh, it's yeah. been around for centuries. Trains haven't been around for a very long <laughs> yeah, time. Yeah. So where's that fucking superstition come from? <laughs> did you Absolutely. did you ever have Absolutely. it as a kid that if you walked over three, you had to spit on the last one and then you didn't have the superstition? I think no, I, I, had a, I had an ex-girlfriend that did and I was like, what the fuck are you doing? Yeah. Like, I don't like spitting in the street. I was like, what the fuck are you doing? She's like, oh, I just walked over three. No, 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 you just spat on the fucking floor. Yeah, that was, that was a yeah, thing. She also used to get a fish of Philip from McDonald's, you know what I mean? She didn't last very long. But anyway, carry on. Yeah, <laughs> well, she, so, yeah, very, yeah. she dated Kanye West later. She was uh, <laughs> Paris. No, I, I think I do have superstitions because I am not obsessed but I have a lucky number that I always use in every kind of context can we hear it or uh yeah 13 brilliant which goes against the grain very no, much because in other societies it is lucky oh is it yeah right 13 I always bet on roulette 13. I hate your luck with 13 it bothers it me. always seems to come in when I bet on it on the roulette table like what? St- always strange, not always. A strange <laughs> amount. Yeah. yeah, way more than thirty-seven to what, uh, one. Whatever yeah. the actual odds of a roulette table, like stupidly more. Yeah. He'll literally just walk up to a roulette table, first number five are on it, one hundred eighty quid. I mean, if I've done that wow. ten times in my life, I reckon it's come in six times, and that's mental. Like the odds of that fifty percent. That's still yeah, still quite a lot more than you of, expect of a, of a thirty-six to one, yeah. thirty-seven yeah. to one. You've got shot. about yeah, you've got yeah. like three percent chance of that actually happening. Yeah. Plus, I based it on yeah. my first ever. England top when I was a kid I got 13 on the back who was number 13 yeah. no one. Oh, you had right. Dean yeah I was very jack mate even then <laughs> that was so good my sister was born on the 13th which would kind of make me want to go for a different number and then one night I had West Ham wallpaper not just one night it'd be weird to put it up for one <laughs> <Yeah>. night but <laughs> are you done yeah. fucking take that down but I was really good at it yeah. I was nine <laughs> yeah alright mum yeah up, up the next set goes I'm doing the Artex in yeah. tomorrow <laughs> but um it just said West Ham United loads of times all the way around the room and I just I just started counting the the, the, the letters and I was like it's definitely going to be 13 I just knew from straight what away I think it is what, West yeah. Ham United yeah I like how we're just going uh, yeah no or West Ham untied if I'd have got that tattoo Oh, Lauren, no, is it 12? Isn't it like, yeah. No, no, uh, no, my whole W W E S T H A M U N I T E. Oh, creepy. What are the chances? I know when you're spelling words. Yeah. So yeah, I think I'm I'm, I'm kind of superstitious, but right. then I also used to suffer from OCD quite badly. I had this. How did you solve yours? Um, I actually can't remember. You'd only do things thirteen times, and then it'd be fine. Yeah, <laughs> that is fucking crippling. Oh mate, honestly, I told this in in, in a in a podcast the other week. Yeah. I uh, my granddad got ill one day, so I um kissed a picture of him that was on my wall and then i did it 13 times right. and then i would have to do that every single night otherwise my brain told me something was going to happen yeah. but then it got bad i didn't tell this one on the on the other, the other pod so i'll tell it now i've i don't think i've ever believed in in a god right but when i was a kid i made up a prayer in my head because i was so scared of the idea of my family members dying i made up a prayer and i memorized it word for word and i had to say it in my head three times and if in my head I said one of the words wrong oh. I would have to re- redo it and yeah. do it again yeah that's mental well I, I hate using that adjective in that context but that's that's crazy so. right yeah well um that's what I mean is like every every human is suggestible and superstitious aren't they yeah so that's your own version of it yeah mm. so and do you so the two are related right yeah, are they are they I the same so. yeah, yeah. And you're more, they talk about like attracting positive energy and things like that. I don't think you attract, I mean, maybe you do, maybe you are, I don't know. But like, basically, if you speak in a positive way, then you're more likely to correlate things positively. And if yeah. you speak in a negative way, you're more likely to correlate yeah, things negatively. Yeah, I think Will, Will Smith's got a class quote where it's like, um, though the man that says he can and the man that says he can't are normally both right. Yeah. So it's yeah. like the more positive you are, the more positive outcome, positive, yeah. Negative, yeah. negative. Yeah. Before we move on to ghosts, do you have any superstitions? Uh, not for some head. Lawrence? 
Uh, I, I had OCD for a little while. I had two things like four times, but then I also realized late, like now I'm a little bit older, mm. I'm a bit like, God, imagine thinking that you were the center of the universe. So if you don't do it, then your family will die. Yeah. yeah. It's the same with football. Like, I, I get it if you're in the stadium and stuff. Yeah. And maybe there's a bit of a butterfly effect. But if I'm 100,000 miles away from the game or whatever it is, mm. realistically, can I affect it? No. Maybe. maybe I don't know. But like, probably. Do you, have, do you ever think with what you just said, do you ever think with gambling, yeah? Yeah. Say a team wins 3 0 and you were going to put, you were thinking, I'm going to put 3 0 on that game today. Then afterwards, when you're like, ah, if I'd have done it, it probably wouldn't have come in. Do you ever oh, think that? Yeah, people I do that all right the time. But I think that's just like a kind that's, of <clears throat> downtrodden, like, that's my luck. Oh, if I'd have done right. it. I don't think they actually believe oh, that. Oh, no, I do. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, <laughs> no, yeah, I say that all the time. Yeah. I'd say my, I've it's got a weird. similar one to you with the number 11. Like, yeah. I, but you know, like as soon as someone said, if I said to you now, number eight, I guarantee for the rest of the day, you guys will keep pop C and eight places. It's like if you go but, in the test drive a car, you'll then see that car more times yeah. than you. But I, like I remember yeah. when I first moved That's to good. Bristol, I Very had to get the number 11 bus into the center and then I had to go to gate 11 to then get the bus to uni. And I was like, this is strange. I've just moved 250 miles away and 11's everywhere. Yeah. And it's always yeah. been my number. But then you realize 11 quite a common number and it doesn't yeah, really matter. Like it's everywhere. Of course it is. Yeah. I was like, Sorry, sit, but I'd find, number. yeah, I'd go into a Weatherspoons and sit at a table and see number 11 and go, Oh, what are the chances of that? And it's like, well, there's not that many tables. But also, yeah. when you're sitting at seven, you don't go, what are the chances? No, exactly. You just go to table seven. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so you only ever reference it when it is that table. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. And that's, but, but I think I read Darren Brown's book when I was quite young, and that sort of helped me a little bit get rid of the super, not get rid of the superstitious side, but sort of, uh, you know, map it out in my mind. Mm. Mm. And he talks about how we just, of course, if we see it, we go, yeah, oh, wow. Yeah. yeah. If you don't yeah. see it, you don't, you don't go, oh, wow, don't look at that. Like when um, he talks about how, you know when someone you're thinking of someone and then they call you yeah. and you go, oh my God, that is so weird. I was just thinking of you. But if you weren't thinking of them, you still would have picked up the call. They still yeah. would have called you. Yeah. Like yeah. there's no... Yeah. And I think Facebook's very similar in that sense. Like we had the... Um, Brian and I. Brian's sitting just out there, which is why I keep pointing that way. <laughs> um, we had the you porn guy on like the mm. um, ages ago now. But mm. he was talking about how you can map human actions out and you yeah. know basically if someone wanks over this... They're gonna get sorry. You're gonna have to beat this one. You're gonna have to wank over that, and then they'll want to wank <laughs> over this. Right? I ain't got to bleep this one. No, exactly. Yeah. And then he uh, he was like, yeah. So we knew if you if you liked that sort of woman, then you would click the suggested woman here because you know you this was the thought process. It's probably very similar. Like yeah. if you have a mother, you're probably gonna think of that mother, and the likelihood is that mother's gonna call you at some point. Yeah. You yeah. just go fucking hell. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Facebook just shows you anyway. Well, we can map your thoughts anyway. We know what your next thirteen thoughts are gonna be roughly anyway. So if we yeah. show it to you, you're probably gonna think it. Which is probably the same with like Halloween and stuff. Yeah. If we see a load of scary images online, which is why I kind of think all the American like ghost stories and you know we get the priest in and he exercises the ghost mm. and those kind of things are kind of religious propaganda in a way right mm. to sort of be like well Mystery. believe in us yeah, 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 yeah. believe yeah. in us because we're saving you and those yeah. kind of things and you become more suggestible towards those things because your mind maps the story out so when yeah. you're alone in the dark you could be like if we're taught as humans, I'm alone in the dark, this is so peaceful, we'll all go, fuck yeah, it, it's so peaceful. 100%. Mm. It's the other way for, for so many people. Yeah, yeah. I, I had, I, I really, I do genuinely really enjoy horror movies and yeah. I have watched many by myself. What's your favourite? Uh, my favourite is is Wreck. It's actually a Spanish um, mm. horror film, but uh, it's, it's, yeah, it's a great movie. Check it out if you haven't. I, haven't seen, I actually will go and watch it now. Yeah, yeah, do. Honestly, it's class. Um, but yeah, I, uh, I'd, I'd, you know, The, the Nun, Shit film. I'd seen it at the cinema. I don't watch it was horror. just it was just on uh, Sky Cinema or Netflix. One of them. I was in my bedroom by myself. It was dark. The the uh, cupboard was ever so slightly open. I was absolutely fine. I was like, I'll stick this on a bit of background noise. And then I saw her face, and I was just like, all of a sudden, because the room's dark, my peripherals and stuff. I was like, this was a shit decision. Yeah. Like, yeah. and I know this is a <laughs> fictional character. I know that nun is not going to appear in the corner of my room. Yet why is my mind, while I'm watching this film, thinking, what about your peripheral? What about your peripheral? Is yeah. she in the... Like, what, like the fact that the, the, the cupboard door is ever so slightly ajar. Fuck, what if she's watching me out of that? That's completely illogical. And if it was shut, it wouldn't be an issue. But it's just, it's just where the it, mind takes you. Yeah, it's just your brain. Mad. Well, I, think, I think it mad. goes to... <clears throat> maybe it's a bit of that. You know, when we were talking about... Um, were we talking about ghosts and... 
Oh yeah, right. So we went on this ghost hunt, right? I think you've seen the video, Lawrence. No, I really enjoyed the video. Actually. Thank you. It was oh, really thank good. You, man. Yeah. At, I was already uh, subscribed. <laughs> <laughs> and there, there was a, there thank was a you. bit in at the start of the night where I walked into one of the rooms and it, and it was still like light outside, so it wasn't as as eerie. And I walked into one of the rooms and uh, I was I was talk, pretending to talk to one of the ghosts, and then I went, um, "I'll be seeing you later." You can't. So like that. And then the medium went. Don't fuck with them. And I went, I'm only joking. And right. there was 1% of me that was like, I really am just joking here. Yeah. Like, I don't, because it's so easy. Let's say that ghosts, there is a small chance they are real and they are vicious. What is it for me just to go, I'm only joking if that's going to stop me getting murdered later yeah. on? Yeah, if a yeah. ghost is vicious, it's going to do something <laughs> yeah. vicious. But this is where we sort of get into my... The, uh, the formation of my belief about ghosts. Seamless. So, <laughs> <laughs> and I, when I was very young, I loved Ghostbusters. Mm-hmm. And that was what made me think about ghosts. But for that, because for, I'd seen Ghostbusters, I wasn't fucking afraid of ghosts. I'm afraid of no ghosts, right? <laughs> <laughs> I knew it was coming. No, but I, I didn't know that was coming there. You're like fucking Facebook, mate. So I... I was like, fucking hell, ghosts are like slimer and, you know, yeah, yeah, yeah. in possessions. But I was Funny, also like, yeah. but we can also catch them, keep them in this place. So that's that's fine. I like, can imagine yeah. that when you were younger, you try to catch a ghost. You seem like the kind of person. I bought all the gear. <laughs> <laughs> I, had, I had everything. And Bill Murray, weirdly, was my hero. Like, I wanted to be, you wanted to be like him. But I think since then... So, <laughs> um, for, the, for the audio listeners, uh, Lawrence just put his leg up on the side of the chair. Like also, bre- sort of revealed my crotch. Yeah. <laughs> to yeah. to. I have a lovely view. Yeah, I thought yeah, I thought you were just doing a Brent. Like, yeah, come was a what like that? <laughs> what chilled out entertainment? Yeah, exactly. <laughs> but as I got older, uh, Ghostbusters obviously became further and further away, mm. and people start going, "Well, you've got more." Um, probably a bad time to pass it across. There, <laughs> sorry. People start to give you like, um, I don't know, you start to build a, a bigger picture of the world, don't you? Yeah. And so you start to, um, I don't know, things just start to get a bit creepier because you're a teenager and you want to scare yourself and Ghostbusters isn't scary anymore. Mm. But is this what you want or am I? Yeah, am no, I yeah, 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 yeah. yeah, yeah. <laughs> This is where my story about ghosts begins. Oh, right. Okay. So, so you j- just before you start, you believe in you don't believe in ghosts. Uh, I'm, not really. No. If I'm completely honest, no. Like right. if I'd have been, but if I'd have been with you, I also think I'd be suggestible to ghosts right. in in a, in a sense. Yeah. But I think anyone would be suggestible to ghosts. Yeah. I don't think yeah. I'm exceptional in any way. Right. I just think the human mind is sort of susceptible. Absolutely. To so you it, kind right? of want it, don't you? As yeah. well. Like there's that part kind of you of. that wants to see something that no one else has seen before. Yeah. Totally. Yeah. yeah. And it. and I think most of the time, like that's why like cold reading and all this kind of thing exists because yeah, yeah, yeah. we are highly suggestible people. Yeah. But I felt terrible for you in the video, and I was yeah. watching you cry. I was like, yeah. and that was the point where the video turned for me. Yeah. Yeah. I was like, this that's, isn't that's fun the point. Anymore. That's the point where the night ended for me. Yeah. yeah. Because I was, I was, I've said, spoke about this before. Like I was, <sighs> there's a, there's a point in that bit where this is exactly what you were saying there. If this is real, fuck. It was when they were, when when he went, uh, the ghost is with you or something. Because in, in my mind, I'm thinking, if this is real, I've got a ghost following me. <laughs> Fucking yeah. great, you yeah. know. But the rest, it was just tapping into to my mum's history, which upset me. Then, on top of being upset, I'm fucking angry that this is going on. And honestly, like, you've got your reaction. You can stop now. Okay, we're still going. Fucking great. You know, yeah. you just... You, I'm still you, crying. Yeah, yeah exactly. <laughs> yeah. And but, in the moment, you yeah. didn't realise how much you were giving him. That's uh, as well. Like we, when we left, we, I was like, we you spent, gave we, him. we spent what? I mean, hours and hours and hours editing that video and trawling through that content. And yeah, analyzing myself. Fuck me, did I give a lot away <laughs> without knowing, without knowing. But, um, but yeah, that, that, but that was like, like you say, it was the same for me on, on the night. That was where like, okay, I've said it in the previous one, mm. uh, allegedly all the rest of it. Um, if, allegedly if this, what? Well, yeah. What do you mean allegedly? You uh, can well, disagree on things. Yeah, I know. Right, I wasn't in the fucking video. I don't know the fucking guy. I think he was fucking bullshitting. That's just my fucking opinion. All right? He's got a legal I'm, team, mate, apparently. I'm sure he does. Write to me. I don't give a fuck. Like, if anything, don't use your legal team. Use the ghosts. Yeah. Do you know yeah. what I mean? Like, fucking curse me. Use yeah. them. Do you know? Yeah, don't yeah. curse him. Like, Lawrence, Jesus, uh, mate. You can't mess with those things. At, at the start of the night... <laughs> 
<laughs> he went, um, and there was a ghost called Elizabeth, and he went, of Elizabeth, and he genuinely, and I quote, went, Elizabeth, if you're still in here, well, actually, I know you're still in here, so I don't know why I'm I asking. Sit, I see you. Yeah. <laughs> okay, let me yeah. just take another sip of Monster. <laughs> Do you know what I mean? Like, that's what put me off, is I thought, yeah. I also, I said this to the other Lawrence that's waiting outside, right, who edits and does all your stuff. He was on the night, and we were sort of talking about it. And I said to him, what do you think? He's like, well, if I'm honest, I'm a skeptic. And I was like, right, I'm a skeptic too. Now, obviously, I make fun about, I'll, I'll make jokes about this guy, but I do feel a little bit sorry for him. Yeah. yeah. But also, I think, well, you're making money off it and oh, you're yeah. taking well, advantage of weak minded people. <laughs> um, <laughs> hey, the thumbnail looked magnificent. You know what? It was, it was actually a really great video. I really <laughs> enjoyed you. it. And I, I enjoy that. like Joe Weller wandering around those yeah. ghost places. And I definitely wouldn't do that. Right. Not because I'm scared of ghosts, because I'm scared of homeless people with knives. In a weird way, there was a comfort in us being locked in. We, yeah. were, we were locked in. Right. And, yeah. 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 But, but, yeah. but so, you don't know what's locked in with you. Yeah, true. And yeah. It. <sighs> Yeah, it just annoys me. But yeah. if I had that power, there was also a point in the video where he goes, uh, yeah, so it was just normal for me. I was yeah. all born with it, wasn't I? Yeah. And like, yeah, you were born with it, but again, seeing someone hanging, seeing a hanging dead body yeah, that's what doesn't become to. more normal no. because you can see the dead. Yeah. It's still a fucking striking image and you just so... you. And also then, if the ghost has revealed themselves to you in that way, you go, why didn't you come over and have a chat before? And then go, and this is how I died. Yeah. yeah. Like, how does all yeah. this work? Surely you would have so much more of an understanding of life and mm. the cycle of life yeah. if you could see ghosts and you know, regular interactions with them. Yeah. It wouldn't just you wouldn't just become an everyday person trying to integrate it. Spider Man doesn't go, let's see how I can integrate this into my daily life. No. <laughs> you know? Batman. Yeah. All these yeah, people don't great, do that. No, that is a fantastic I go point, to someone, I, I go yeah. to someone yeah. and go, I've got a fucking superpower here. Yeah, yeah. And I need to be tested. Like, I, I want to be able to see if other people can do this. Mm. I think I could. I don't just go to the bullshitter club where everyone else is bullshitting themselves and go, I can teach you how to bullshit as well. <laughs> yeah. yeah. That's not how it works. Yeah. yeah. So that's what annoys me about them. Right. Yeah. <laughs> Yes. I had to get it off my chest because no, it really annoyed me. Yeah, and then, it, and then the, the forgetting to close down was good, wasn't oh, it? At the start really of the cool. night, that was the one yeah. bit you had to do. If yeah. you don't close down, you bring a ghost home. And it was only because Robbie Knox was like, Are we going to close down? Or? <laughs> yeah. and, then, <laughs> and then the last thing I'll say is when Robbie Knox gets the fake blood yeah. and then Ryan amazing. sees it and he goes, Shit! Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. It worked! Yeah. <laughs> yeah. He's literally like, That's the first one. I mean, uh, tonight. Uh, <laughs> I, I I liked him. Yeah. He seemed like a nice guy. It's just when he starts to pick on people, and also that yeah. obviously confidence tricksters are also, of course, lovely people. Like you know, Catch Me If You Can is yeah. a film about a guy who comes across in a lovely yeah, way. Yeah, yeah. Like, yeah. of course, and, he's going to be nice. Yeah, and also, I mean, you 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 put it perfectly in the in the when we did the podcast. Oh, it was like, you know, it's sort of like this mate all, is coming all, up with words <laughs> of 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 all the people there that night. It was my video. Yeah. And he's, a, and he's a YouTuber with over a million. Who do you think the ghosts happen to contact <laughs> well, throughout the whole night? Well, Just us two. Yeah. yeah. How Literally. weird is that? Yeah. yeah. Funny yeah. that. Um, yeah. Also, the people that had spoken the most on the day, uh, you know, were most researchable. Yeah. I'm not saying that's what he did because I completely believe in this guy legally. Well, but... <laughs> <laughs> well you'd just moved into mine, hadn't you? Oh, and then when. Oh, when, when, when bearing, the... bearing in mind, Sinead literally found us through. This, I think, yeah, you yeah. know, and, and she followed, uh, like, uh, like follow, follows like social media and all the rest of it. She, she reached where, out where I've been tweeted and things about how I mean, because moving in with you was delayed, so like, I was tweeting like two months prior, gonna move in, and then it was delayed for like a month or two. So I've been uh, there, there's like a footprint yeah. and all uh, these things. And then the when when the medium did the the automatic reading, the writing, he was like, um. Have you unpacked? Good move for you. Yeah. Question mark. Oh my I god. I see many boxes. It's like, okay. And cool. who was it? We had someone on. <laughs> it's a lot of vaginas you've seen. <laughs> <laughs> we had someone on who said, surely you would f go back to one of your old videos that you don't even remember. Is that, I've done 1,400 videos. Yeah. Right? You've got a lot to pick from. Yeah. And pick a, like a kind of throwaway fact from one of those. You wouldn't mm. pick like the most obvious thing that's just happened yeah. in your life. And, uh, I guess that's, that's it for me. It's like those sort of people put me off that. But I also, yeah. it's similar to religion with me where I'm, no one can say 100% whether there's a God or not. No. Yeah. But my uh, conclusion is I'm not going to find it through any of the mainstream religions in yeah. the world because I think they've all gone a little bit off it. Yeah. So yeah. it's similar with that guy. I'm like, I'm yeah. doubting I'm finding a ghost with you. Yeah. And yeah. if I wanted to, I'd probably find another way. Like yeah. Ouija boards, Darren Brown explains all this. It started out as a game and like, you know, yeah. people just, it went too far and people started to believe things. Yeah. And it psychologically had impacts on people. Yeah. yeah. But then I, so 
I as a go as a kid was scared of ghosts a little bit. Right. And then um not in like a fun making way, but my, my mum's husband now uh claimed that he could see ghosts. Right. And I was a bit like, sure you can. Um and then one night we went to a house where there was a heavily pregnant woman and he came down the stairs and went, yeah, there's a ghost at the top of the stairs who just tried to push me down. And, and the woman went, I feel that too. And I was like, for fuck's sake, like, <laughs> really? You really? When was this? I don't know, I was like 15 or something. Right. So you're also highly sceptical when you're a teenager. Mm, yeah. Like, Fucking hell, mate. Yeah. But also then when I went to the top of the stairs, I was like, well, it is a bit cold up here. But I thought, yeah, but there is probably a draft. Yeah. And the, it's all explainable. And of course, if you tell someone oh, there's a ghost pushing you at the top of the stairs. You'll start to feel a ghost pushing you at the top of the stairs. Yeah. But then there's other people in my life, like my grandma, who said, like, you know, she woke up in the middle of the night once and this TV that she'd unplugged was just on and all these kind of things. And I, obviously I want to be respectful, but I'm also a bit like, no, no, they didn't. Yeah. <laughs> so yeah. where does it stop? And a lot of the time it relies on you having an emotional, uh, like, relationship with that person mm. and that then they can kind of pick on that yeah mm. that's yeah. what ghosts rely on but like yeah. the uh, it, it uh, it's weird because i don't obviously I, I fucking love my nan and granddad but they they tell they both believe they can see ghosts right and it's like yeah, you're in your 70s like yeah like you're just seeing your mates yeah <laughs> <laughs> Lynn spoons the other day it's still mark he's not dead mate <laughs> <laughs> but it's like my granddad chats a lot of shit right. about anything like so why would why would the ghost things he's talking about be the the actual truth yeah. do you know what i mean yeah. so i don't know you it's not that i value their opinion less but when somebody that you, you like say you uh, the whole time i'd known you jordan you you didn't believe in ghosts and then yeah. one day you came to me and you were shaking you're like i've fucking seen a yeah. ghost yeah that makes you believe it a little bit more doesn't um, it because it's, it's, it's like why are you saying that yeah. like somebody that's been so see that's that's actually quite i don't want to segue poorly from ghosts to aliens but that's one of my biggest like things is if i was actually abducted by an alien yeah and I'm tra I can imagine the frustration in trying to convince people right. mm. without looking like a... But imagine if I actually was, and then I was like, Jack, I swear, like, and you're like, you're fucking mental, mate. Yeah. Like, you've obviously had a breakdown or something. Like, imagine imagine that. Yeah. How That's, sure uh, would you be that you had actually been abducted by it? Like, can yeah. you ever be 100% yeah. that you've seen it that's kind of the nature of human perception yeah and that's kind of the thing that annoys me a little bit is when in the video it's like you know make a noise it's like, yeah no fucking appear and sit at the table yeah if, if you exist <laughs> yeah yeah like how come he's the only one who can see them why is this guy or woman or whoever been blessed blessed with it mm. and why is it only on and off at certain times yeah. like all these different rules which suddenly no one else was ever around when the ghost has appeared all those kind of things yeah why would the ghost do that why why would any ghost go best appear to just that one the one yeah. that no one else seems to trust in the room yeah <laughs> yeah, yeah. No and also what sense. what are they actually giving away from knocking on a cupboard twice yeah, yeah. you know i've got yeah. a few ghost stories that have happened to uh, to my family i want to run by you and see what you think Ooh. so come back after this short break I just want to run quickly through, because I know this is Lawrence's episode, it's not all me, 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 but uh, yeah. I want to run through these ghost stories um, that have that have happened to my family, and I yeah. want to see what, what you think. Right. <clears throat> so my cousin's mum, my auntie, um, but I hate the bitch, so don't worry about it. <laughs> okay, <laughs> right. Do you like anyone in your family? No. no uh, your nan and granddad, but yeah. they can see ghosts, so they're mental. <laughs> Yeah. Your mum's an alcoholic. You hate your auntie. Jeez. That's it. Not she a week. She's a lot of spirits. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Sorry, dear. that was horrible, wasn't it? That was a real cunty thing. To but say. true, yeah. so it's fine. Yeah. Um, my auntie <laughs> oh, is a pain. Is um, she does like pastel drawings, right? I told this story on an old radio sh show I used to have, right? Good. And <laughs> it was really good. Um, but I got mugged off because apparently it's a part of a film. Right. Apparently, this happened in a film as right. well. But so your auntie's told she you a story. She can see dead people. No. <laughs> right. See, this is the thing. I don't really care for my auntie. Right. At all. Fucking but but hell. my uh, she's not my blood aunt, auntie. My blood uncle, who was with her for a number okay. of years, he is the most skeptical man you'll ever meet. This is right? such a Norwich oh. story, isn't it? <laughs> <laughs> she's not my real auntie. That's actually my sister. <laughs> <laughs> 
<laughs> but my uncle swears by, right? So if, if anyone's heard this story elsewhere, I don't care. This happened to, to her. I as haven't well, heard it. Right? Allegedly. She, she, she drew, <laughs> she drew um, this pastel drawing of this factory that my uncle was pulling down or a hospital or something. I can't remember. And it had loads of windows in. It was fucking brilliant, right? And her dad had recently passed away. And a couple of weeks later, she got the picture out, right? And in, uh, in, I've seen it in the window. There's, a, it's a man, a generic man, doesn't look like a dad or anything, right? But <laughs> Ooh, no, that, that'd be that'd be weird. Yeah. But um, uh, she didn't draw it on, and it's been kept in a cupboard. As far as you and, know. And where she's like, <laughs> where she's um, like rubbed over, there's this imprint of this man in the window, but almost to the to the point where you can see a checkered shirt with buttons and a collar on it. Right. What, and he owned one or nah? So, oh. <laughs> but right. is this going to be an important detail, or is it just literally or the, is this, the ghost? Uh, yeah, it? it's, it's not an important detail. But how did it get there? And was it her dad trying to contact her? Top man. So I, I don't. <laughs> right. So you're That's saying a layer of paint had been scraped off at some point in no, transport. No, so, so it was like pastel. Pastel. She, so it's not paint. <laughs> sorry, sorry. Yeah. So she shaded it. Yeah. Yeah. And then she's put it away. The dad's died. She's got it back out. And there's a man in the window. So what you're saying is there's layers of pastel on top of each other to create this image. And she's put it away somewhere. Yeah. And then just brought it back out. And some of that pastel had been scraped off to create yeah. an image that she is. decides to see. I don't think just check it. <laughs> yeah, you don't. It's not been scraped. We're not talking about fruit pastel. Although, like, like pasta, yeah. it's like um, <laughs> it's it's a bit like a chalk. sort of crayony chalk. Yeah, yeah. yeah. yeah but if, yeah. if you had paint like all in the same place, it would be scraped off. Right, paint. You, you know what I mean? Like scraping this photo. No, that's Who's what I'm saying. This painting? It's been put away, mm. so yeah. it could easily in transports. Bits could easily be rubbed off it's, and it's rubbed been into the formation of a man. Though, yeah, but yeah, exactly. Yeah, yeah. Now I believe it. Yeah, like that. Yeah. What film is this from? I don't know. I told that and Tom was like, my old co-host was like, that's in a film or that's blah, blah, blah. And I was just like, I felt silly because I was like, I'm, not, I'm sure I'm not making this up. And then I went for a meal the other night with my uncle and he, sw- he swears by it. Another one, he, so that's obviously, you don't... It's a good story. Yeah. But it's a story. You, because it's not her dad, I'm sort of like, but sorry, because, why are you relate? Either that or he's a massive practical, practical joker. Yeah. You knew he was going to die and went, this will get her. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. 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 But it, it's just, I think they've made the t- the, the connection because yeah. the, the man a, wasn't a there. man. He's died so and then there's mean, a man appeared in yeah, the window yeah, 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 looking yeah, yeah. out. So Unrelated be, points yeah. that you superstitiously then just yeah. really yeah, yeah. That's yeah. what it is. And then yeah. there's another one um, where my uncle took down, uh, he was does demolitions, he takes buildings down and he took down a a mental asylum, right? right? And in one of the one of the rooms, there was this this girl had gone in there, and she, uh, she'd lived there her whole life. And on one of the rooms, she'd painted all these flowers and meadows. And on the other wall was like terrible images of people right. having their throats slashed and stuff like that. Oh, right? It was yeah. me and Toby on the tube, no, <laughs> but um, she'd drawn all bad and good. And he took um, photos of it because he said it was like unbelievable art. And apparently, a photographer came from Cambridge to take pictures of it as well. And the photographer's pi- um, pictures, there was only the good ones left on the... on. This is... He swears by this, No, no, right? I'm so, just listening. So, yeah, no, like, I, I don't believe it either, but he swears by this. And um, my uncle got his disposable camera developed... And uh, none so of that's a throwback. And and none of the none of the, the the pictures of the evil wall came out. It was just the the good ones. And the professional guys ones weren't on the camera either. And there's no recorded documents of that the bad wall. Wow. So weird, like obviously, like my uncle will even tell you like that it's just a coincidence that them ones didn't work. But that's weird. Yeah, is it? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know what like string you're trying to pull. Like no, no. Well, that's the thing as well is um. Isn't that also the plot of like Ghostbusters too? Like it's in a painting or you can't see part of the painting yeah. or the painting looks like it's coming out of you. Because there was, so I was also very scared of ghosts at one point. Like mm. there was that website where it purely documented, you know, like early on when websites had very specific uses. Yeah. Like, you know, now we go to Twitter and you can find anything. Yeah. Early on, it would be like, you know, ghostpictures.com and you could just type that in. And yeah. Like, yeah. Come out. There was a whole website dedicated to the idea that people who took photos and a ghost appeared in the photo those people died days later. Mm. Like, I, I don't know. It, does that does that ring any bells with you? Is that is that scary? Because that is, I guess there is something quite scary about that to I'd, me. It reminds me of The Ring, where if someone watched the video, they're going to die. Like, right. it just seems like it's another one knows, like, do they actually, did, what was this website like? Mm. It reminded me of Sycopedia. 
Did anyone y- yeah, I remember use that. that? Yeah. Rotten.com. Yeah, yeah, Rotten was bad. That was rank. Well, do you have any more any, any more ghost stories? Couple, yeah. Go on, then. Um, right, let's put them on. Well, first of all, when my cousin came to stay, my granddad died in, in the spare bedroom. Right. And uh, just before the be- <laughs> she went to sleep, I just went, my granddad died in that bed. <laughs> Good night. Wow. And just walked out, right? <laughs> but to me, obviously, it's my granddad. Yeah. But this cousin wasn't related to, to this granddad so to her it's just a stranger oh. so I was like my granddad died in that bed sleep well and I, <laughs> but I was like 11 at the time yeah. so I thought I was being fucking hilarious <laughs> uh, re- I think it really creeped her out uh, it's still, that is quite funny so the mother of my now sort of stepfather my, the one who married my mum was very into ghosts and very into you know energy and those kind of things and I'm kind of uh, I'm, yeah open minded about energy Mm. Mm. Right, but they had an old bakery, and right. when we went to visit them, I had to sleep in the living room. Before into bed, she said, "There's a ghost in this room," and I was like, "Why the fucking hell would you tell me that? Yeah, yeah. yeah. Fucking hell, are you telling me that? Yeah. Like, yeah, just tell me it's a draft. Yeah, like, and so I, I was a little bit scared. Yeah." But then she told me all these other stories about how she lived in Birmingham, and I'm not, I, yeah, maybe I'm a bit skeptical, but like, and when she was wandering around Birmingham, she was seeing all these different, uh, you know, ghosts around, and then people were sort of corroborating the story. So there was a building where there was a fire, and she went in and she saw all these spirits sitting at bars and stuff. But I just, I don't know what to do with that information. Mm. I'm just like, yeah, well, okay. But maybe you've read it somewhere else, or you're highly suggestible, or you don't want to tell someone like you're mental. No, you know? especially but, for someone you love. Yeah, but for me, g- ghosts mean more of like a. It's more. It's just one big massive metaphor for like the memories that you have of people and all yeah. those kind of things. And like you know, leave a good memory with someone, and they'll believe you're a good ghost. Yeah. Leave an evil memory with someone, and they'll believe you're a bad spirit. Like, yeah. do mm. the ghost stick around when you're having wild sex at night? Like, is your mm. grandma watching you in the corner of the room going, that's why I go fucking buck wild, love. Like, <laughs> yeah, is that, yeah. and I know what you mean. Is that what you want? Like, no. do you want your grandma and your granddad yeah. and, like, all these people to be in the room? Like, there yeah. he is, inseminating our granddaughter. <laughs> like, yeah. where does it stop? Yeah. yeah. And why are they always stuck? In like the area what? or room or house that they died in. Yeah, like how's why? that? A, is that a rule? Yeah, or, yeah. What is it? They can walk through walls, but they can't leave the premises. What yeah, the fuck. Yeah, like, yeah. Well, and do they have to get on a plane with you to go? So, like, yeah. When you're on the plane, if you've got a if you've got a spirit with you, can the plane not go? To, can the can the spirit not go to America? Because it's like yeah. a bit far for me. Yeah. No, <laughs> no visa. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, <laughs> ghost visa. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I, I, there's also there's a link. There's a link between uh, I think. Um, what what Ike said on your on your podcast and ghosts and things that I've heard a theory on with the whole uh, and you were saying at the start you know the um the perception right. and what our eyes can see and things there's a theory that ghosts aren't people from the other side because we can't see in all different um planes of sight it could be like a, a blur do you see what I mean like right, something yeah. coming through from because we could like for example another yeah, plane. Well, another, in, in another, that case, another... why have we yeah. not seen Wi-Fi once then? Why has that not just come through? <laughs> or what, well, like, what, for or... what he's going to, and then you go, and why have we not seen <laughs> Wi-Fi? <laughs> yeah. Or like, like oxygen. Why not once yeah. have we just, has that not just come through the plane? Oxygen's not on another plane, though. We know it's there. <laughs> yeah, 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 we, yeah. We're not going, fucking hell, does it really exist? <laughs> yeah, yeah. Different, different planes and what you can see are different things. Yeah. yeah. I get yeah. what you're saying, yeah. though. Like, yeah. Why can't I mean, you like, see? Yeah, you're yeah. talking about visible light. He's talking about a whole other, yeah, essentially like, dimension. Yeah, yeah, about yeah, energy, yeah. Though, aren't you? Yeah, 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 yeah. But yeah, so that's that's just a theory out there. That it's like actually it could be, and also with that, with the old, just quickly on aliens because I fucking love aliens. No, we'll go aliens. Let's it, go could, aliens. it could, it, like, we could in theory be surrounded by aliens, but we just can't see them because they're not on our plane of vision or whatever. Mm. That is true. Or like, yeah. and what I'd what I'd say to them is, oh, you ain't got to speak to him. No, right? I was just going to say, if you're in it, well, actually, I know you're in it because oh, <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. that is call back. That, that annoys me though. That does those sort of things annoy me. Where then someone, where that guy's clearly, like, he's not actually. Yeah. He's just fucked up his script there. Yeah. And he's ha- yeah. and he's. And she, the girlfriend's looking at her and going, "You don't normally do it like that." Yeah. Like, and then he's going, "Oh yeah, but I know you're in here." Oh, there was a bit on the stairs when he when he went, "Shanae, what do I usually say here?" <laughs> <laughs> 
See what I mean? <laughs> Forgot my line. Yeah. Line. Yeah. Line. Yeah. She's going, is it? Um, is it? Exit, Do the bit about the mum. Exit stage left. Yeah. So, like, <laughs> what did you think then when the... So uh, what about the, the camera falling off? That was the, that was the only weird bit about it okay. but because it was like i wanted to be susceptible to the evening and it happened at the start it was like oh i'm spooked now it like was, yeah, let's was get cre- this going yeah it was it was creepy i mean i think like Rob, robbie knox friend of the show great mm. guy um he he was like going into that 100 percent ghost is bullshit yeah then as the evening as it's starting to get dark and in your surroundings and all right the camera fell it was probably the wind but and he said to me in the in the toilets we went for a week and uh, he said i'm probably at about 95 percent now so even for someone who says 100 percent mm. in that first hour hour and a half where we were like building up to it just a little bit of skepticism kind of creep which i think is only natural mm. that's but, what i'm saying yeah like, what yeah. did you think of the camera thing was it just wind or i think could have been just wind I yeah mean, i wasn't there so it, you did capture the feeling of the night quite well i thought like right. i did sort of i did get a little bit creeped out yeah mm. but also if you're watching it in the middle of the day it changes to if you're watching it in the middle of the night yeah absolutely. all those absolutely. kind of things yeah, yeah. and so I, I suppose ghosts can still exist during the day yeah but why then are they only coming out at night yeah why are they are nocturnal only... like, yeah. Yeah. I, yeah i suppose you can there's just so many rules and so many mm. different things. And then also in England, it's such a perception of it being like they're evil. Mm. Whereas if you go to other societies, like they have the day of the dead and things like that. Yeah. It's they, celebrated. It, yeah, it's almost celebrating. Mm. It's like, hey, grandma's here. Like that's yeah. my Whereas in England, they're like, bloody grandma's here. Like, <laughs> yeah. yeah. Why, why frame it in that way then? That like, is... The old woman, the, the, the grandma, that the step grandma that I've got, um, she was like, don't worry though, they can't hurt you. And I was like, well, who made that rule? Yeah. And yeah. why then can they only do good things and not bad things? Yeah. And like, so who also worked out these rules? How, where have you worked out that they can't do bad? Yeah. Where have these, how do we know all this stuff? Who's mm. going, and it's probably people who want to control you in some way or want to, you know, make you feel nervous or yeah. whatever. It's sort of just like, it's a bit like when Ricky Gervais talks about Jesus. It's like free childcare is free keeps people in a certain headspace mm. and also if you get into the alien side of things mm. why aren't we creeped out by aliens in the same way as we're creeped out by ghosts because yeah. aliens are surrounded by science and yeah. this other stuff is surrounded by mysticism yeah like, it's totally the way that you frame it yeah so Do that you, all annoys me i assume you believe in in aliens um but i'm open to it in the same way as i'm open to anything that can be proven like if i saw an alien i'd be like yeah i believe in aliens yeah and i obviously believe that other life can exist but there was a really good podcast. Did you do you ever listen to the Russell Brand podcast? No. Uh, sometimes. Well, that's not the one he's putting on YouTube at the moment, is it? What's it called? Going on YouTube. I think it's just some sort of. It's like a really well. It's a well-being sort of podcast. Oh yeah, I do. I yeah. have done. Yeah, it's yeah. quite good. So right. Sort of to d- talk about morals and philosophy and all those kind of things. Yeah. And there's a lot of conversation of like the construction of the idea of God and all those kind of things. And I think through different ages, you end up. Like we are sort of deconstructing the idea of anything spiritual or any of those kind of things, and we're slowly just as a society, we're just sort of getting rid of it because I don't don't really know. And it's sort of changing us fundamentally as a society because maybe God or the idea of God or those kind of things sort of keep us together or it gives Mm. that feeling of oneness. We're sort of getting rid of that. And I wonder whether ghosts and all those kind of things are important to that because the idea, there is the science of if you look at a photo of your family, inherently in your head, you release good endorphins. Right. So if you look at an old photo of your family, your mother, your father, any of these people, and sometimes even if you don't know you're related to these people and you're looking at a photo of them, you will still feel good. Mm. Really? So maybe, How yeah. Explain that? So maybe the idea of ghosts is about that. It's about carrying your family, reminding you that you're part of society, reminding that, you, you, that you're part of a family and all yeah. these kind of things. Yeah. That's an important idea to keep going. I'm not against that. Yeah. I'm not against the idea of, of good people and morals, but I just don't believe them the sinister side of it. And mm. I don't see the point in the sinister side unless you want to exploit people. Mm. Yeah. So that's, I mean, that's a fascinating discussion in itself. Like that's, and that's actual science, guys. (laughs) Yeah, um, (laughs) Yeah. yeah, no, I think you summed it up nice there. Gave a different kind of um, angle on it. I don't want to delve into this too much because... Short on time. Yeah. Yeah. (laughs) But um, what do you think? Do you think Area 51's as black and white as people say? It's definitely in (laughs) colour. Uh, do you mean like so what what is Area 51 I know what Area 51 is I know the rough idea of it but what are they saying happened there they're saying aliens crash landed there no No. that's where they were brought to and apparently that's allegedly where where 
Uh, Roswell. Roswell. Mm. Roswell. Farming Brilliant. Roswell. Okay. I watched that um, <laughs> And um, and yeah, and then, and then the alien ship was was taken there. But allegedly, there's there's many many alien craft there and aliens that have been tested on. But my thought is right. So obviously, Area 51 is now a meme. Like, oh, all the aliens are Area 51. If Propaganda. the American government actually has aliens. Put them somewhere else, because everyone thinks they're over there, guys. That's so yeah, go fucking go over there. Yeah, we're just testing normal shit, like airplanes and stuff. We've actually got them. So why on earth would they have them in the, the, the one the, place that the everyone... alien hub meme of the fucking earth? They so, wouldn't. Yeah. But also, you would then um, meme meme it to make it a bit of a joke, and to, and you would attach some crazy people yeah. to it, and those kind mm. of things to make it seem like it's an innocuous place. Double so bluff. It could be a double bluff. Yeah, That's hiding a in very plain sight. Russian government way of doing. Then we don't trust the Russian government. For some reason, we used to trust the American government or we, you know, because the Russian government seemed further away and the American government seemed more like us, maybe we trusted them a little bit more at one point. Mm. Now, no one trusts any government. Mm. So they could have memed it and sort of bought, is, are the people who are trying to uncover it part of the cover-up? Right. They're making it trivial. They're making it all very, so, oh, very, very yeah. funny in the first place. Like, yeah. Do you believe that aliens are actually in, in Area 51? Or do you think they're somewhere else? So what, what's your overall, like, theory? I, I, th- I think they've come here. I think I, th- I think we've had made contact. Most certainly, I, I, I my logically, I just think if I was in charge of these bases and everyone thought they were there, I would put them somewhere else. Mm. That's, but, yeah, that's, that's I logic. think there's there's something not quite right about Area Fifty One. I think whatever they're telling us isn't it isn't as black and white as it, as it is. So what what's your theory then? As I've I've been I've, I've been to the gates of Area Fifty One. Right. Why isn't that a fucking video, mate? I know. Um, I mean, we told it on a podcast, but it didn't go it out. Didn't did make it? the cut. Yeah. Um, yeah. So I'll I'll quickly tell you the story. So I, um, my old YouTube manager James Yates. Yeah, <laughs> great guy. We shot a film trailer in the, in the Nevada desert. By the way, he's definitely seen Ghost and Alien. Yeah. <laughs> and he's and he's got conclusive proof of all of it. Yeah, yeah he and drew one. Yeah, <laughs> he's seen the inside of those cell walls I was talking about. Yeah, he's exactly, the only yeah. person that's seen them. They took me to their spacecraft. <laughs> <laughs> that was a mental cell, mate. Yeah. <laughs> Um, yeah, we went over. I went over to the Nevada Desert to shoot this trailer for this short film that we were going to make, and um, it was about aliens. And one day we were due to go out to the gates of Area Fifty One. Uh, before I tell you that, when I was in this town, it was a small town called Caliente, right. and I reckon the population of it is probably less than a hundred people. It's just a. It's just. It's about one hundred and fifty miles into the desert. There's nothing around. You turn the corner. For, there's all these canyons and shit going on. You turn the corner, and then there's just like um, four shops on one side of the road, and then a few houses on the other side. So there's nothing there. But I had to go out one night with a GoPro and just ask people that were in that town. They'd never seen like British people. Like they live in the fucking desert. I do love that, by the way. It's yeah. like it's 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 so mad. But I had to ask them if they believed in aliens. Right, and just before I say the Area Fifty One story, they they asked they responded as if I'd said, "Do you believe in dogs?" Right. They'd gone, "What the what do you what do you mean?" Like, I think the reason I use that example is because one of the guys in the hardware store actually said that to me. I said, "Do you believe in aliens?" He's like, "Do you believe in dogs?" And it was like, the, "Clearly, they are a fucking thing." I'll repeat the question: Do you believe in aliens? <laughs> yeah. Yeah. But then again, the only minuscule amount of tourism they would possibly ever get would be from people passing through to get to a town called Rachel, which is the closest town to Area 51. No one gives a fuck about Caliente because it's about 30 miles from the closest town to Area 51. So it's like the pass-through town. Yeah. But um, So one day we decided to go out to the gates of Area 51 and were you nervous you must have been a little bit nervous i was nervous because since we've been doing the pod we've spoken about area 51 quite a lot and you've kind of like i don't i don't i'm not as worried about it anymore because you said Ah. that you made the good point that you'd put them somewhere else i was like yeah true like Mm. but there back then i was a lot younger and stuff i was i was quite nervous and i was in this car with a fucking stranger because James Yates sent me with this other guy that I didn't know. So instantly I'm like, why am I here with this guy? I still got the guy on Facebook. I don't know who, it, I don't know who he is, right? He's oh, called Do you ever him. think of contacting him, sort of? Yeah, you know. Toby Nova, his name is. Toby, if you're watching, he wouldn't be watching. Toby but Nova. Yeah, I think he was like... Pretty cool surname. Th- yeah, I was just thinking that. I think yeah. he was a runner on a, on the short film we were doing. Of course he was. And then one day it was like, should we go out there? And he was like, yeah, I'd live in here, so I'll take you. It's mental, but... So I'm in the car with him, and we're and we're driving 
we're already 150 miles in the desert, but there's this huge road that goes through that part of the desert to get to somewhere, right? So it's not off the beaten track. So you, you carry on going through all these winding canyons. And then you have to literally go into the sand. Like you, you have to, I don't know how the fuck he knew where he was going. Yeah. That's why I'm scared. Cause I'm like, you could murder me now and they will never find my body. But so we're just going on this dirt track that's like seemingly to nowhere and we're going all the way probably i want to say another 20 miles which seems like 50 when all you're seeing is sand mm. so we go 20 miles to this to this gate and you can see these massive gates as you come on t up to the approach and i think i was in the back of the car i can't quite remember but i had my phone and i was just like recording it like that and then there's all these huge signs saying do not record like no uh, under surveillance and then he was like, yeah, we can't stay long. We're just going to go up to the gate, you turn and go back. So Sorry, mate, wrong turn. <laughs> <laughs> so, yeah. so bear That's in mind, so... we've gone 20 miles off track. We U-turn, and as we U-turn and come back, we just see this massive ball of sand on the road where we've just come. And I instantly think it's just where we've chucked up the sand. But I'm like, why is it all the way back there, but not here? Don't get it. And then as we carry on driving, we must have been driving for no more than two minutes. And this blacked out, it was like something from Men in Black, massive Jeep Range Rover thing has come past us slowly. And like we can't see in there, but they can see in us. And the thing that baffles me is... We've not seen that car anywhere on the road up to it, but as soon as we turn up, pull up to that gate, it's there. Like, how did it get there? I'm not saying it's a fucking alien spaceship or no. anything. It's, I, I think it, it was have secret but, entrances. Oh, what was that? That made What's me jump. <laughs> <laughs> well, it is, it is a government. Just, a car just Are you making the wall? yourself nervous? Because for a second, I was starting to think he's either dead or an alien he's about to tell us. What? <laughs> oh, it's a story. Oh, yeah, I thought you were going to say I died out in the desert and then yeah. be like, and you're all <laughs> dead. Yeah. But yeah. The, the car showing the up, it is a massive government facility. They've obviously got cameras everywhere. You've gone right up to a gate. Yeah. The logic of them just going, do you want to go see who that is? I know. It's one of them stories where it's probably nothing. But it's mm. scary when you're there because yeah, it's like, how, how did you get there? And I, are we in trouble? <laughs> well, they're, they're well versed, though, in like desert, um, I guess, uh, tactics. So they'll know how to hide in the desert. Yeah. They'll know how to do all these things. You'd never been to the fucking desert before. This yeah. is your first time there. It's all a very yeah. alien thing yeah. to you. Yeah. Whereas with these guys, they see the fucking desert every day. Yeah. So they know exactly what they're doing. They know and the dunes to hide behind. Yeah. And yeah. All the, could be tunnels. Yeah, and then we've got to go, yeah, my, That's my, a door. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> my issue with Area 51 part. is very much the same issue with the ghosts. Right. The ghosts just happen to choose these specific people and go, I'll talk to him. Yeah. Why have only the government seen these aliens? Why did the government have so much? The American government specifically as well. well and it's all from, when did Roswell happen? In the 40s? Uh, like, 46, yeah, I think. Yeah. 1940s. We're now in an age where everyone's got cameras. Yeah, but true. at no point in the last 10 years has there been a single proof of alien sighting, which could happen so Unless easily. Unless they're aware. But apparently they're Area 51 have everything. Technologically advanced. However, mm. well, let me just throw this into the mix, right? Because yeah. my nanny, right? Mm -hmm. She grew up on, on, on a farm. And oh yeah, that's weird. This this is this story is fucking. <laughs> Farms are pretty weird. So <laughs> so in <laughs> Norfolk, yeah, oh yeah, in Bungie, um, <laughs> actually, that's technically Suffolk. Um, but yeah, anyway, so she she had grown up uh, on a farm, and one morning, crop circles, right? So, um, they reported it because it's damage to their to their property and stuff, and. That same no, so then the neck the police came, cordon all off. The next day, government officials came down and tested the soil. It was all fine. It, it, so it, it, no, no, I know. Oh, so, 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 it, it was just Weird. someone. It was just someone going around knocking down crops, right? But <laughs> but why did the government come out and test the soil the That's next day? True. Unless they weren't there wasn't a division that was keeping tabs on this thing. Mm. Well, there probably is someone Government keeping tabs at... on crop circles. On, on the thought of aliens, and the crop circles obviously have a big thing behind aliens, but it doesn't necessarily mean they have any proof of it. They're just eventually going to find But they're, they're willing to invest in a division within the government to test land inside, alleged the, land Yeah, insights. I think the government's got so much money, they probably thought, let's just do like a, a spooky ghost one. Do you know, yeah. alien but, one. But the, but the, point, must, of the, yeah. the point of the story is, evidently, these things, these 
divisions or whatever you want to call they them do they exist. do exist they do because yeah the next day the government officials and and sciencey people um came out tested all the soil all the crops unless and stuff. Mm. could have been someone from suffolk police going we could be on to something here let's yeah. let's just send mm. a scientist out because if they do find it, they're the first people to find it, mm. or they'll be killed by the government. So. That's why I was right. It's sort of worth investing in. Mm. Yeah. But it's not uh, just because the government think it's. That's what I find weird. We distrust the government because of Area 51, but then we trust, we go, well, they've invested in it. We, it's either got to be one way or the other. And there's still weird people in the government because the yeah. government are a massive organization anyway. Yeah. yeah, yeah. yeah. I think for well, some branches. weird reason, it's, yeah, <laughs> like it's got. Uh, some sort of, you know, uh, social strength to it. Whereas, oh, well, the government, they must be right. Mm. If they've invested it, then they yeah, must yeah, yeah, yeah. be. Yeah. Yeah. Whereas actually, I just sort of go, yeah, I mean, they're trying to do Brexit, so they've not half the hey, yeah. have they? <laughs> yeah. You know what I mean? Oh, uh, yeah, last question man. I want to finish on. Sure. Um, we're asking everyone during Ooh. this Halloween period. Lawrence McKenna, mm-hmm. what's your biggest fear? Um, you can go deep, you can go funny, you can, you can say... I don't like the Saw films. Really? Yeah. Very specific. They what? really, they're quite scary, I find. I, I don't like them because I feel they're more painful. It's like, oh, oh. It's, made me, it's not so so much scary. It's like, oh, they're grinding the teeth off and right. stuff like that. There's that, right? But what I hate most about the Saw film is, sorry, ooh, creepy. Yeah. Um, <laughs> what I hate most about the Saw films is the false morality of it, where the guy is punishing them for yeah. something that they, you know. So what I hate is the idea of vigilantes in general. Right. Um, because these vigilantes are quite unusual people. P- vigilantes tend to be sort of on the fringes of society, blah, yeah, blah, blah. Yeah. And, not, um, not keen on Batman. No, love Batman. Okay. Yeah, <laughs> weirdly, he's, he's love exceptions Batman. Are the he's not a vigilante, though, in that sense. And no? I think a lot of people think they're Batman, but they're not acting in the same way as Batman is acting. Because a lot... So the main issue is vigilantes that do it for the publicity. Mm. Yeah. And that's the problem I have recently with, um, you know, that guy, the, the guy who was caught as a paedophile and he was sort of memed online, the one where he goes, oh, you've ruined my holiday now. Yeah. Oh, oh, yeah. Oh, yeah, Steve, you Thanks for that, ruined me holiday. Yeah. Now, I found that weirdly hilarious. <laughs> yeah, I did. Right? Yeah. 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 Um, which, which is fine. Mm. The reason I found it so funny, slash not funny at all, <laughs> was because this guy is clearly... Mentally ill. Mentally yeah. ill, yeah. Yes. right? Yeah, at yeah. best. Yeah. <laughs> Several disabilities, probably. Several disabilities, probably combined. Yeah. yeah. And yeah. this guy and these guys are filming him yes. and basically going, you f- you pedophile, blah, blah. And he's just like, oh, he can't see the gravity of the situation. No. He mm. goes, oh, wait. Thanks, guys. You've ruined me holiday. And they're <laughs> yeah. all like, oh, you do not know. Like, yeah. You, the, yeah. the police, are, stay with us. The police are on the way. And you're like, why do... No, no, that makes any sense. So vigilantes scare me. And, Peter, yes. and, 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 and paedophile hunters. <laughs> and paedophile hunters. Yeah. Yeah. I have found a few of those videos a bit like... <laughs> wait, 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 wait. Can I just say, we Sorry. asked we asked Brian what his biggest fear is. He said heights. Yeah. We yeah. asked Lawrence yeah. what his biggest fear is. He said paedophile Weirdly, hunters. right? right? Why, why would you fear paedophile hunters yeah. unless you were yeah, a paedophile? Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Exactly. Brilliant. Okay, uh, well, it's been great, guys. Yeah. I'm going to go and put myself in now. There we go. This has been Jack Mates. Happy uh, Halloween. Search his hard drives, guys. Thanks, Lawrence. <laughs> Oh, oh, what a really fear. good banter. It was just banter. I didn't, I'm not scared of it.